So this is my website. And if I click on this hamburger icon, a full screen pop-up menu appears like this. You can create a similar menu on your WordPress website in just 10 minutes without using any third-party plugins. Also, if I click on this, I'll be redirected to the respective page. So today, I'll show you how to create this menu. We'll be using Elementor Pro and some custom code to create this. Don't worry, it's super simple. I'll leave the code in the description so you can just copy and paste. Also, full disclosure, I got the idea for this video and the codes from the Make Dream website channel. So, don't forget to subscribe them because they make awesome content. All right, let's get started. To create the menu, we need to first go to our dashboard and select templates from here. Then go to the theme builder and choose header. Next, click here and select a structure like this. I'll quickly drag an icon widget and add a hamburger icon on the right. And this is what it should look like. Now let's design the menu here. I'll start by adding a new container structure like this and make it full width and height from here. Let's also set the background color to black. Go to advanced and set the padding and margin to zero to remove any gaps. For the position, I'll select fixed and set the Z index to 100. All right, let's add the menu items now. I'll drag an icon box to the container here, remove the icons and just keep the names. Let's quickly add the page links and adjust the padding and spacing. I'll also make a few more style and font changes and once they're done, it should look something like this. Next, we'll add the images that will change when you hover over the menu items. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Select this container and drag the spacer icon into it. Then I'll choose VH from the menu and set it to 100 so it covers the entire screen. To add the image, I'll go to the background option and select the image like this. For the position, I'll choose center center and set it to cover. This will ensure that the image fits the container perfectly and won't get cropped out when it's live on the website. Next, I'll select a color for this image. So let's choose this. And then duplicate the spacer. Also, make sure to change the background image and color and repeat this process for all the menu items. Once done, it should look something like this. Now, to close the menu, we need a button on this page. So let's quickly add it. I'll drag a container and place it here like this. Then I'll add an icon widget and choose the close icon like this. All right, like before, I'll go to style and advanced section to customize it a little bit. Now that all our elements are ready, let's create the open and close effect for the menu. It's located behind the menu right now. So let's use the navigator for this. Here it is. Now go to advanced settings, scroll down and add a CSS class called MDW menu open. Okay, now I'll select the container that has the close icon and also add a CSS class called MDW menu close. Finally, select this main container that has the entire menu and add a CSS class called MDW image menu. Once that's done, scroll down to the CSS code box, copy the code from the description, come back and paste it here. All right, we just need to add a few more codes here to make the menu functional. First, we need to add some HTML and CSS code. Don't worry, I'll guide you through each step to make it easier for you to follow. First, let's drag the HTML box and place it on the container here. 
After that, we'll copy and paste the HTML code like this. Now select the container with the main menu items and add the CSS class MDW menu left. Next, I'll click on the container containing the images and add CSS class called MDW menu right. Now scroll down to the CSS code panel and paste this code here. Again, you'll find this in the description below. Here's one last thing I'm going to do before we end the video. Let's see what the menu looks like on different screens. First, let's do the tablet form. Here, click on the menu and this is how it looks. I'm going to adjust this menu box and done. I'll also reduce the font size so that it adjusts better to the tablet screen. Next, let's go to the mobile screen. Okay, I've just made a few changes and this is what the menu looks like now. If someone hovers over this menu option, the color and image change. And when you click on any of the menu items like this, you'll be redirected to the set page. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.